You know, honestly, I can say the qualities that I loved in my family were kind of the qualities in this movie, the themes in this movie. We all, we like to camp. We like to, you know, it was one of these things my mom I would start planning and cooking and packing coolers for like a week out and she'd pack the car. And then when we got to camp, my dad would pitch the tent with my brothers and get the firewood and do the whole thing. And those are some of my fondest memories. I mean, they were so simple, but they were really meaningful to me. So those are things yeah. that I enjoyed doing as a family. And I respect about my mom and dad a lot that they, they, they were very humble, but, um, yeah. that, but they still gave us a lot. They still gave us a lot to, um, remember and, and, uh, yeah, they, that's cool. It was so nice. Yeah. It's cool. And for you, how was it, Mark? What, did you ever think your parents are cool? Cool. I mean, look, my dad, obviously, I looked up to him. He was my hero. But, you know, my parents obviously were, uh, you know, we they got set, not to go down Bummer Road. Not, but <laughs> they were separated at a young age. And, uh, you know, but they they definitely did the best they can, I think, under the circumstances and considering they did an amazing job. And so uh, despite all of our trouble and all the things that the negativity that was surrounding our upbringing and area we sh they always made the best effort to keep us on the right path and to to give us a a, a happy home well they didn't do too That's shabby important. did they yes of <laughs> yeah so all we ever yeah, wanted to do him. ultimately was make our parents proud yeah yeah exactly so christmas is coming up as i said um, starting with Mark, do you have a repeatedly tradition you do for Christmas? You know, it's a yeah, yeah. Time. We go we go on holiday every year, um, and of course, you know, the entire family gets together. My wife is very, very big on holidays, and so we're always trying to make it as special <laughs> as possible. Are you singing, cooking, uh, going to church? Uh, oh, we go to church. Uh, I don't cook or sing, but we eat and watch movies and sports and things of that nature. So, yes, I think it's it's just really nice to get everybody together now that everybody is kind of, you know, I have a 20 year old and then three teenagers. So everybody has their own interest. So to get everybody to come together, we've yeah. been playing uh, some games lately and having movie night and things of that. Nature. I love that, by the way. I you, When you said that yesterday, I was like, I want to incorporate that to in into our family because it's almost like you're gearing up for that 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 family all that connection it sort of builds up to that christmas holiday and it's sort of just that nice like you're you're really doing that um the connecting and and uh it's like kind of preemptive to you know all the all i, I, I need, like all, I need all the games it was my idea but this is all my wife yeah ideas. i like it i like her style <laughs> forcing it and, and, and it's mandatory i just need the list now of games now <laughs> <laughs> and you, Michelle, are you singing and I or doing games? Like Hell no. No, I don't sing. <laughs> baking. <laughs> I bake a lot. We have a we have a morning tradition. I, I bake um, the batter for scones and for Madeline's the night before, so it's ready in the refrigerator. And then I get up early and I bake them fresh and I pop some Prosecco some for mimosas, put on the coffee, and then the kids come down when it's all ready and then we open up prezzies and sit by the fire. And that's, that's sort of our morning. Wow. Yes, yeah, so nice. I love it. <laughs> so I go, Mark, what really impressed me, your French sounds pretty good, but your German even better. And oh. I can say that I'm German. Wow, <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate it. Dankeschön. <laughs> Bitteschön. Do, did you ever understand what you were saying? or? I really had to trust my friend Hilal, his wife, Katerine. She was the one. She came over. She recorded it once for me on my iPhone. Wow. And then I just listened to it every day. And I kind of spelled it out phonetically. And I wrote it every day. And, um, you know, I just hopefully I trusted in her. Mm -hmm. And I was speaking... Yeah. Uh, very well. Oh, and thank you. was French harder or, or German for you? I know. I think the German was a little bit harder just because of the, the way the words flowed together. It was a little more difficult. It's a little bit harsher. Yeah. Well, I, I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also, Michelle, weren't you impressed? We have the clip. Yes. How Mark changes diapers. Did yeah, very impressed. I could have used him around my house. <laughs> yeah, it was. That's actually one of my favorite scenes. I think that's so cute. Yeah. And then the baby's reaction, and you guys. I love the connection that he has 
specifically with the baby because the baby is really the only one that shares the secret with you. And so I think that the way that the movie leans into that and that they have the special little bond, uh, it's really, it's so cute and it's so heartwarming. I, I love it. And you can do that in real life with the diapers, right? I mean, the speed. Well, they sped it up a little bit, but yeah. I, uh, I don't know if I did a thorough enough job, but I certainly always made it fast. But you have enough training. You have a lot of kids, Mark. Yes. Yes, this is true. So you're trained to do it. I also like that scene. And I thought, I would adopt the baby immediately. What a cool... I mean, there were twins, right, girls? Yes, yeah. yes. So nice. I mean, so funny. I really loved him. And then also, you know, to hold the whole family together. Michelle, what is important as a mom, you know, to always bring everybody on track? Like, like Mark said, when kids grow up, everybody has his own interest. Mm -hmm. Everybody's on his devices. How do you hold a family together? You know, I think that's what people are going to really appreciate about this film because families, as we all grow, we all evolve and everybody's going every which direction. Uh, and it's really, really hard. And I think that, you know, one of the things that we personally do, we've got one night a week that neither of the kids have an activity. And that's the night, it's a Tuesday night. And that is our family dinner, you know, and we sit around the table and that that we carve out that one night. And I know that seems very, like very little. Um, and, and then on the weekends, we really try to hang out together a lot. Uh, but I think that this is why this movie is so important is because we're all kind of struggling to, to sort of stay connected, communicate, appreciate, respect every one another, you know, one another. And I think, you know, the most important thing is to have mom and dad connected, right? And to kind of reignite Absolutely. that. Yeah. And if your kids kind of see that, everything else kind of falls into place. So I think uh, yeah. it's, an important, it's an important thing to preserve. And last question to Mark, because you are like, you have a lot of action scenes and you're pretty fit. Do you enjoy your training? I see it on your Instagram also. Do you enjoy it or do you really have to be disciplined and force yourself? Well, I think it's a combination. I enjoy it when it's over. I feel much better <laughs> when it's over. It's always hard and it's hard for everybody to get in there. But, the, but the, uh, you know, to eat right and exercise is, is the key to longevity um, and a healthy life. So you want to be able to do it. But it's, it's, it's hard for me as well. But I know... Um, you know, how important it is. And, and, and I really appreciate reaping the rewards from the hard work. So mm -hmm. discipline is the key that drives, drives everything. Mm -hmm.